This is a regular meeting. This is not a public hearing. This is not a workshop. Therefore, citizens' comments will be 30 minutes long. This was a rare so public meeting, and the Colwell County Judge came out mad, trying to stifle the protests that were about to erupt. See all these signs? People have made handmade signs to show their protest against the dump. The county judge wouldn't let them bring any of them in. I do want to go over a few rules before I get started. We will not respond to comments. There will be no profanity, insulting, demeaning. It will not be tolerated. Disrupting a public meeting is a Class B, which carries up to 180 days in jail and up to $2,000 fine or both, just for your information. You're not going to be allowed to speak if you have sharks on. You're not going to be allowed to speak with sharks. I'm, you're fortunate to be in here. Dozens of people coming to that meeting, dozens of folks packing that courthouse Monday evening, that sent a message. They all saw that this fight is not only not over, but we're just getting started. Green Group's whole mix. Sounds environmental, doesn't it? It's a bunch of garbage. It's, it is. I'm sorry. When I first heard of Environmental Park, I thought, wow, the name itself is deceptive. I mean, who calls a dump an environmental park? And you got to love that. Garbage companies, garbage companies love to call dumps parks. But 20 years from now, if there's an accident, who do you hold responsible? I don't think any of you commissioners are. I think you're all pretty bright guys, and I think you all know what's going on. And so we can never trust a company that has deceived us from the very beginning. There are so many recognized and stated problems with this dump site where Green Group wants to locate the landfill, and also this latest six-page host agreement. This dump will be built in Commissioner Rowland's Precinct 4, and he is not allowed to be on the two committees that will craft the host agreement and an access permit. This is not acceptable, and I believe it is legally actionable to deny the most affected community no representation on these two very important committees. The fact that he was not allowed on the host agreement committee is the absolute insult. How dare them deprive him of the right to fight to protect his people? His people are going to face the environmental damage. The generations of families that live in his precinct are the ones that are going to smell it. So I'm going to rec recommend that this document, such as it is, goes to the committee for review. Do you have a meeting and a date? Yes, sir. We're going to try to set a meeting for 9 o'clock Thursday morning. Are these meetings open to the public? This, this is not are. a meeting that's for, uh, on, on, a, on the committee meetings, they're normally not open to the public. You can sit in. Uh, I certainly don't mind that. I would appreciate uh, just sitting in. I would like to sit in on it, too. They are, they're not, they're doing this because they don't want to follow the Open Meetings Act. They don't want this to be transparent and public. And that's why Joe Rowland said, I'm coming to the meeting. Now, this meeting Thursday, one of the two other guys wasn't going to be there. So that doesn't trigger the act. It's still less than three. Um, I think you, I don't know how that would work. It would be just me and you, right? If I'm yeah, not gonna, you're not going to be there. If I'm not going to be there, Joe, I've got a conference. Well, I, I don't want it like that. I want to be on each and every one of the meetings that happens. But the next time they try to meet and Joe Rowland goes, it will make it an open meeting. They don't want this process to be open. I, we've already had a meeting and, and set up the committee. The fact that County Judge Shaw doesn't want this process to be open, doesn't demand it to be open, means he oh. is not doing what he should be doing for those people. Make it public. If, if you think it's the right thing to do, make it public. I don't see that it's going to be a situation where we need to continue this for hours. We have a show of hands from everybody in opposition to the landfill and in opposition to the host agreement. And we understand that message. How many, how many more is on there to speak? I, I, I'll, I'll sit and listen to him. Okay. What's who's the next? We don't need to hear the same thing over and over again. These are your constituents. This is the city with a vision. This is a county with a vision. These people are visionaries because I believe they can see that out this window in not too many years will be a 175 foot tall mountain of trash. There's no telling what's gonna come down the road. And y'all don't want that. 
to be your legacy for this county, I'm sure. And why isn't Joe Rowland on that committee? Thank you. You know, they put dumps in places of weakness. They put dumps in places where they think the people aren't strong enough to fight with large minority communities, large poor communities. That's the way this game is played. Joe Rowland is standing up and is being insulted every step of the way. What the Caldwell County Commissioners have done to Joe Rowland is insulting. It's his precinct. It's his folks. They don't want a dump, period. 